Hare Krishna. I'll be reading a story, The Bees, which shows us the value of cooperation. Once upon a time, all the insects in the forest wanted to taste the nectar of the flower, just like the hummingbirds. All the insects set off at once on their task. The crickets eagerly hopped onto the flowers but found that they could not reach the nectar. The wasps were confused which flowers to look into. The grasshoppers knew where the nectar lay but did not have any place to store it. And the moths had big houses but did not know how to cook the nectar. The queen bee was observing all this and she realized that if she wanted to taste the nectar of the flowers, she would require the help of the other bee brothers and sisters. If she wanted to make honey all alone, she would simply waste her time and energy. But if she teamed up with her fellow bees, then they could make a never-ending reservoir of nectar. So the queen called her bees and told them about her idea. We must all unite and each must do his part and thus together we could all taste the nectar. The bees liked the idea and thought they would give it a try. So the queen bee gave them each a task to be accomplished. She sent the little bees to search for the special flowers with nectar. The little bees came back and told the others where the flowers grew. She then sent the collector bees to bring the nectar home. In the meanwhile, she engaged the worker bees in building a beautiful hive that could hold all the nectar coming from the flowers. Soon the collector bees returned and poured the nectar into the hive. The queen bee then told the baker bees to brew the nectar to everyone's delight. She also told the guarding bees to keep strangers away and thus very soon the hive was full with more nectar day by day. The bees at last sat together side by side laughing among themselves and tasted the nectar to their heart's content, happy and satisfied. God has given all of us certain strengths and talents. If we use them together, we can do things which would otherwise be impossible for us to do alone. Thank you. Hare Krishna.